welcome back. Just hopefully a short video, and it's Fred. Yep, back in the shed where he belongs. And on this video, I just want to ask people's advice, people's opinion about little coaxial plugs. Um, two, RG two one three coaxial. Now I've got I've got some of this uh, coaxial cable here. Originally. I bought this when I had some SWR issues with the Antron 99 and if I go to step out it's easy enough to do and that's my 213 coming out of the shed, a bit basic isn't it? Going up to the antenna and it's very very tight as I've actually raised the antenna it's become quite tight. So I bought some RG213, a longer run to replace that and then I discovered that you may have seen it in an old video I took the antenna down and the little sort of washers between the sections had corroded and that was causing the SWR issue so I've got this 213 left over um, I've had a bit of an issue in the shed itself uh, if you watch Fred in the Shed 2 you would have seen that by now um, we had some water coming in um, I've cured that and we're just waiting for it to sort of dry out. And I'm going to be doing, I've decided to sort of do some kind of work in the shed to make it a little bit more habitable, a little bit more habitable um, for the sort of spring and autumn. I don't think I can stay out here all year. But I've had, you know, I've had such good times in the summer with the skip coming through. And I always have a radio just set up in the shed and it was just a kind of like a temporary thing I had the 6900 out here and I think a Cobra radio before that and it was just a sort of temporary thing and what I did I sort of I slung some RG58 just slung it up around the sort of shed but I've had so much fun it's been so much great and I've had such good radio out here in the summer and with the lockdown there were so many new people coming on and it was so easy to come out here and basically just have some great fun in the ray in the shed so I'm gonna sort of try and extend the use of the shed um, but I do need to do some sort of work um, to eliminate the dampness and things like that but that'll all be on Fred 2 I'm not gonna to go too much into that carry on watching Fred 2 and you will see it but anyway so I've got this 213 now I want to replace the RG58 that I've just slung up all haphazardly I want to replace that with proper 213 so it's 213 straight to the antenna now the bit I want to ask you is so you see I've got these uh, little sort of 259 plugs on the end <laughs> I've, got a bit, I've got a bit of a history with these plugs so I won't go into it on this video but if you watch the channel for a long time you, you know the history on that but anyway so yeah now I've been using these ones these are the standard sort of plugs but I've seen some better plugs that I think might be uh, more resistant to sort of conditions and dampness and things like that I'm going to put up some pictures on the screen now uh, these plugs are they, are they are a solder type you do solder the cent central element part of the plug but then the back part of it looks rather clever it seems to have like a sort of a compression fitting you, you put a sort of a spanner on it and you tie it in a nut and it seems to have like a gland in size it's inside and it, it seems to be rather like a compression fitting and these these claim to be completely waterproof and uh, so yeah I'm thinking that when I run this 213 instead of just using the standard plugs just to maybe spend a little bit more money and possibly get some of these compression fit plugs. So the question is, like, have you uh, used these yourself? Do you know anything about them? Are they? I mean, they're not, they're not expensive, but do you think they're worth it, um, or just stick with the standard two five nine? plugs and maybe as I say on it on you just use a little bit of heat shrink or even some amalgamation tape or something just to sort of try and keep any moisture out so that's the thing you know I'm gonna do it it's not gonna be straight away but over the winter I'll be just improving things so yeah if you if you guys think that they're better and they're, they're, they're probably a little bit more secure maybe a better contact I'll probably get some in and I've got no idea how to fit them I'd have to look into how to fit them but I'm sure I could work that out and uh, I'm gonna do that so that, that's just a question and as I say, look out! I say look out for some improvements in the shed. I really, really would normally be backing away from the shed now, but um, really want to sort of try and use the shed a lot more next year. Get out here a lot earlier in the spring. Uh, I've had so much fun in the shed. So anyway, what more on any more? So yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about those uh, compression, what I call compression fit plugs. You know, do you think they're worth it or just just stick to normal ones? That's it. Okay, cheers. I hope you're all well. Dodgy times again. I wish it was better, but it ain't. But so please, please, please stay safe, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Cheers, guys. Oh, yeah.